something unbelievable happened in my garden last season, and it all started with a bucket of molasses, a pile of aged manure, and a batch of biochar I thought I understood. I'd been using raw biochar for years, appreciating its porous structure and long-term soil benefits, but the results were always mild. Then I stumbled onto a charging method that didn't just improve biochar, it transformed it into something alive. And once I started using this biological reactor version in my beds, my plants didn't just grow, they surged. They exploded with colour, root mass, vigour and yields that made me rethink everything I thought I knew about soil fertility. Today, on Timeless Crops Haven, I'm breaking down exactly how to make this supercharged biochar, why it works, and how to use it for maximum effect. Let's dive right into the good stuff. The real reason raw biochar holds back your soil? Biochar is impressive because of its structure, with millions of microscopic pores ready to host microbes, hold water and store nutrients. But structure alone isn't enough. Raw biochar is empty. It's a set of vacant apartments with no residents, no furniture, no resources. When you put it straight into your soil, it actually absorbs nutrients and moisture before releasing any benefits, often slowing plant growth in the beginning. Charging biochar changes everything. Instead of waiting months or years for soil organisms to occupy it, you fill every pore from the start with a living ecosystem. And the two ingredients that make this transformation possible are molasses, and aged manure. How molasses turns biochar into a microbial magnet? Molasses brings instant life, you know. It's honestly the simplest, fastest microbial stimulant you can add to soil biology. Packed with simple sugars and trace minerals, it works like rocket fuel for bacteria and beneficial fungi. When you mix molasses with water and pour it over raw biochar, those sugars seep deep into its pore structure, into places even microbes can't reach on their own at first. Within just a few hours, bacteria begin doubling in population every 20 to 30 minutes, feeding on the molasses and coating the biochar with organic acids and enzymes. These compounds increase the biochar's nutrient-holding capacity while setting the stage for long-term colonization. But, you know, the real magic happens when molasses meets manure. Why manure completes the biological reactor? Where molasses provides energy, manure provides everything else. Nitrogen, phosphorus, complex organic materials and a staggering variety of soil-adapted microorganisms. These microbes evolved in digestive systems that specialize in breaking down plant matter, making them perfectly suited for garden soils. Now, aged manure brings a whole host of benefits, folks. It provides organic nitrogen that, you know, releases slowly over time. There's also plant-available phosphorus plus calcium, magnesium, sulphur and all sorts of trace elements. The moisture in aged manure hydrates biochar and helps carry nutrients deep into its pores. And, well, maybe best of all, it comes packed with billions of diverse beneficial organisms just ready to colonise a new environment. When you mix molasses and manure, you get this nutrient-dense, biologically active solution. Pour that right over porous, empty biochar, and what you've got is essentially a living reactor, a carbon structure that's fully loaded with nutrients and microbial power. It's really something special. 
Here's the method I developed after, oh, months of testing, refining, and keeping a close eye on how my plants responded. Start out with five gallons of crushed biochar, no larger than, say, pea-sized pieces. In a large container, mix one gallon of unsulfured blackstrap molasses with five gallons of aged manure. Then add fifteen gallons of dechlorinated water and stir it all up until the molasses dissolves completely and the manure is evenly distributed. The mixture should look a lot like thin chocolate milk. And, if you're using dried manure, you'll want to hydrate it first with equal parts water. Then let it soak for several hours before mixing. That's the way to do it. Slowly pour your charging solution over the biochar while stirring. At first, the biochar will float because its pores are filled with air. Keep stirring every 30 minutes until all the biochar sinks beneath the liquid. You want extra solution above the surface to ensure it stays fully submerged. Cover the container loosely to allow airflow and let it charge for at least two weeks. Four weeks produces even stronger results. Stir every few days to oxygenate the mixture. When fully charged, the biochar will appear darker smell, richly earthy, and the liquid will turn cloudy with microbial life. Drain off the excess, but do not rinse. You want that nutrient-rich coating. How to apply charged biochar for maximum results? For new garden beds or depleted soil, mix one gallon of charged biochar per 10 square feet into the top six inches. This places the biochar directly in the root zone. For established beds, top dress at half that rate and let rain, irrigation and earthworms pull it deeper over time. This gentler approach strengthens soil biology without disturbing existing roots. Container gardens really love charged biochar. Just mix one part biochar to ten parts potting mix, or, you know, you can simply top dress with two to three tablespoons per gallon of soil. So, what happens in the soil after you apply it? Well, within the first week, the soil darkens, becomes more crumbly, and even warms up a bit as biological activity spikes. By the second week, you'll notice your plants responding with deeper green leaves, thicker stems, stronger growth, and, honestly, faster recovery from stress. After about three weeks, roots expand dramatically, often 50 to 70 percent more than control plants. Over the seasons, irrigation needs drop, fertilizer use decreases, and disease pressure falls as beneficial microbes really start to dominate the soil ecosystem. Organic matter builds up rapidly, sometimes even doubling in just a few years. If you're ready to turn your soil into a thriving ecosystem and grow plants that perform beyond expectations, this supercharged biochar method is, well, a real game-changer. And if you want more deep-dive guides like this, make sure you subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven and share this video with fellow growers. Let's build thriving, living soil together.